Welcome to getting started with Akamai APIs using HTTP Pi. I am Mike Ellison, developer advocate at Akamai Technologies, and today I will be guiding you through this short tutorial on how to get started with the Akamai APIs using HTTP Pi. Akamai offers a rich library of approximately 100 different APIs that allow you to manage your Akamai solutions. HTTP Pi is a free and easy to use command line interface that you can download for Mac, Windows, or Linux. HTTP Pi consists of a single HTTP command designed for painless debugging and interaction with HTTP servers, RESTful APIs, and web services. HTTP Pi comes pre-installed in the Akamai development environment. Feel free to watch the video Getting Started with the Akamai development environment for instructions on how to install it. Next, we need to authenticate our API requests. Once you have created an Akamai API client, you should be able to make your first API request. If you're looking for help on how to create an API client, please watch the video Getting Started with Akamai APIs, Creating an API Client. And for this tutorial, we will be using the API client and the corresponding tokens that I created in that video. You will need to modify your .hrc file in the root in order to set up the credentials properly. Now that we have that all configured, let's get started with HTTP Pi. The basic requests for Akamai APIs through HTTP Pi will look like the following format. We use HTTP to invoke HTTP Pi plugin. We use the dash dash auth dash type edge grid to ensure that we're using the edge grid authentication. And the dash a default ensures that we're using this section in our .hrc file, which contains the tokens there. We have our dedicated host and the actual action that we want to do. As you can see here, we are going to be using the PAPI or Property Manager API version 1 slash contracts. On developer.akamai.com slash API, you can find the entire API catalog, including each option per API. In our example, we will be using the Property Manager API to list the contracts, which slash pappy slash v1 slash contracts. Let's run the request. And there we go. We get the list of Akamai contracts returned. Now we know that our Akamai API client is working properly and requests can be made. With this getting started, you are now able to dive deeper and start making other requests, perhaps to different APIs, to manage your Akamai solutions. Important to note here is that for post requests, you do need to specify headers such as content type and, of course, the body of your request. So please carefully inspect the Akamai API catalog for which parameters are required and which are optional. I hope this tutorial on getting started with Akamai APIs has been helpful for you and has given you the knowledge to start using the Akamai APIs. For more content, please visit developer.akamai.com where you can find more tutorials and information. If you have any questions on Akamai Developer, please feel free to reach out. You can find me on social media under the handle Akamai Mike. I want to thank you very much for your time today and I hope to see you again in our other tutorials. Good luck! And happy alchemizing.